Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing fine and are taking care of yourselves. My name is Kanika Tandon and I'm here with the video of class 7th English 2nd. Uh, Today we are going to complete the exercise and the question answers of chapter number 8 that is Go Kiss the World. Starting our today's video with the exercise on page number 115 that is choose phrasal verbs from the box given above and fill in the blanks you may have to modify tenses in some cases okay so first one is the track was called off because of bad weather my mother was thrilled to run into one of her friends in the market yesterday miss khan will take over as the new principal of our school next month nobody expected the old lady to survive the pneumonia but thanks to the dedicated care of her family, she pulled through. The visitors are expected to put down their comments and suggestions in the visitor's book kept near the entrance. Next is on, next, on page number 116. Next is, we set out for Agra in high spirits but were saddened when the car came to a halt as it had run, off, run out of fuel. Okay. Next exercise is on the same page. Complete the sentences given below by correctly inserting the conjunction given in the bracket. You already know what, a, what is the use of a conjunction, right? With the help of a conjunction, we add two sentences together. Okay. So, my sister wants to go trekking while my brother wants to go on a picnic. Meenu was whispering so I could hear her. Or ornithologists study birds whereas... Herpetologist study snakes. Although Lincoln was shy, he went on to study uh, law and politics. Life is tough, but we are strong. Coming on to the next page for the next exercise. Fill in the blanks with conjunction and other suitable words that express contrast or opposition. Try not to repeat the words. All right. So first is, I have eaten breakfast. Nevertheless, I am hungry. Although we left home early, we were unable to catch our flight. This year, there was heavy rainfall in the eastern part of the country, whereas the west received almost no air. Sorry, no rain. While the rich continue to prosper, the poor struggle to make both ends meet. In spite of her leg was hurt, Farzana won the race. Sahiba keeps really busy. However, she takes out time to read to teach at the orphanage. Sachin scored a century despite the fact that he did not make a good start. Rather than letting her blindness stop her, my mother continued to lead an active life. Next is, uh, look up uh, the meaning of the words in the bracket and choose the appropriate word to fill in the blanks. Okay, so we have to choose the correct option and then write. First is orange peel, P -E -double, P -double -E -L, is used to make marmalade. The bride and the groom walked up to the altar. You uh, advise everyone, you should follow your own advice too. Uh, their family has got a pet named Montmorency. There is a cozy kennel made for him in the garden. Her sister went to buy stationery on her bicycle. But she accidentally ran into another stationary bicycle and fell on the ground road. The ring is a little loose. I hope I don't lose it. I can see my mother great coconuts. I think she is making something special. Next is the captain of our basketball team came to compliment me because I had won the first prize in the championship. Lions do not pray. They only so with this the exercise part of this chapter is over let us come on to the question answers coming on to the in-text question first on page number 110 what were the narrator's earliest memories about Kora Kor Koraput so the narrator's father was a district employment officer in Koratpur Orissa his earliest memories of Koratpur was that there was no electricity no primary school nearby and water did not flow out of a tap as a result the narrator did not go to school until the age of 8. He was homeschooled. Now coming on to page number 111. Question is, why did the narrator's family not purchase a radio for the family? 
So the narrator's father did not purchase a radio for the family as he believed in living a simple life and radio was a luxury those days. Father said that they did not need a radio as they already have five radios referring to his five sons. Coming on page number 112, question number one is Why was the narrator's fear of the enemy poisoning the water realistic and why? So the narrator's fear of the enemy poisoning their water was not realistic it was a fear of his imagination which was wired by the ongoing war at that time next is explain the phrase unlocked by imagination the war triggered the narrator's imagination into believing something that was not really happening this made him understand the power of imagination he learned to unleash his imagination and believe in his dreams coming on page number 113 Question number one is, why has the narrator referred to the hospital as inhuman? So the narrator referred to hospital as inhuman as it was as it was cockroach infested, dirty and the staff was uncaring. It did not meet any standard of quality. Next is, how was the narrator inspired by his father's attitude towards the nurse? When the narrator's family was father was nice to the nurse despite her shocking shocking behavior, the narrator learned that there was no end to how concerned you can be for another human being. He also learned that success is defined by your ability to rise above your discomfort, whatever your current state. There are the principles that he followed to reach his success. With these, the in-text questions are over. Come on to the exercise ones. Uh, making connections on page number 114. Quick answers. Question number one. Why? What was the earliest memory that the speaker had of his father? So the speaker, the speaker's earliest memory of his father was a district employment officer in Koraput, Kora Orissa. How many siblings did the speaker have? The siblings have has four. The speaker has four siblings. What was the first thing that the speaker's mother built at every new place they lived? So uh, uh, the speaker's mother built a fence with twigs and planted some seedlings at every new place. As children, what fascinated the speaker and his siblings? As children, the speaker and his siblings were fascinated with the advertisements in the newspaper for transistor radios. Next is, what was the speaker's first job? So the speaker's first job was as a clerk in a government office. Last is, what three things did the speaker's mother continue to do even after she went blind? So the speaker's mother continued to do her morning yoga, sweep her room and wash her own clothes despite her blindness. Let us come on to the reference to context questions. Okay, question number two. My father was given a jeep by the government while he could use the jeep to commute to his office. My father refused. This was the extract. Question number one. Why was the speaker's father given a jeep? So the speaker's father was given a jeep by the government because he was district employment officer. Next, why did the speaker's father not use it to commute to office? The speaker's father did not use the jeep to commute his, um, his office because he believed that it was not his jeep but the government's jeep and so he should not misuse it. He used to walk to office every day. Next is, how was the speaker's family expected to treat the driver? The jeep's driver was treated with respect and that was due to any other member of the father's office. Coming on to question number three. Uh, we do not need a house of our own. I already own five houses. So this is the extract. Question number one. What did the speaker's father refer to as five houses? So the speaker's father refers to his son as five houses. Why do you think he referred to them as houses? So he referred to them as houses because they were his most significant and worthy possessions. What lesson did you did the speaker and his siblings learn from this comment? The narrator and his siblings learned that it was not important. It was important not to measure personal success and sense of well-being through material possessions. Question number four. Finally, when she rented and came, my father opened his eyes and murmured to her. Why have you not gone home yet? I was stunned. So this is the extract. Come on, coming on to question number eight. 
she was the nurse uh, and she had come to father's uh, speaker's father to change the blood transfusion bottle that was empty why was the speaker's father concerned about her so the speaker's father was concerned about that nurse because that nurse was working long hours at night when she should ideally be at home next is why was the speaker stunned the speaker was stunned because the nurse was rude and uncaring but his father still spoke to her so kindly now coming out to the read reflect and read reflect and write question number 5 what difficulties did the speaker face in kora put during his childhood so the speaker did not have the luxuries of electricity primary school or water from a tap because there was no school he did not go to school till he was 8 years old he was home schooled till then coming on to question number 6th uh, reading the newspaper aloud uh, one uh, aloud daily was one of the household duties of the speaker why was he grateful for this practice later in life the speaker was grateful because it was this duty his duty of reading the newspaper aloud that taught him that the world was larger than korapur korapur he always acquired the english language through this habit from the newspaper routine the speaker also learned about showing consideration to others his father would say you should leave your newspaper and your toilet the way you expect to find it question number 7 how did the opinion of speaker's parents about india's ability to govern itself differ from each other so the speaker's father believed in the british raj he doubted the capabilities of the post independence indian political parties in governing this country but the speaker's mother believed in the opposite she believed that the country had the potential to grow on its own this taught the speaker the power of disagreement or dialogue and the essence of living with diversity in thinking next is how does the speaker define success towards the end of his speech so according to the speaker success is about vision it is about the ability to rise above pain and it is about imagination it is about being sensitive to people particularly those smaller than you and it is about being connected with the larger world it is giving back to life more than what you took from it and about creating greater success with an ordinary life coming on to the ninth one what in your opinion did the speaker's mother mean by asking him to go kiss the world so the speaker's mother meant that her son should embrace the world be successful and make a difference she wanted him to explore the world and learn from his experience question number 10 this extended writing what were the lessons that the speakers learned from his parents so this is going to be your homework you have to write what are the points that you think uh, that uh, that you think is one step uh, to uh, one step to the success with this the question answer the this chapter is already o- is over and i hope that you all have understood i request all of you to please complete your work in your notebooks get them checked whenever the par- next parent parents meeting is and i'll see you all in my next video with my next chapter that is chapter number 9 i'll see you all next week thank you have a good day take care